Navy SEALs are known as super fit, super tough, with a little Rambo thrown in. But the SEALs who killed bin Laden operate on a whole different level, literally. They are what is known inside the Pentagon as a tier one force, reserved for only the highest priority targets, like bin Laden or a loose nuclear weapon. They are the force to be called away first. Richard Marcenko, now a best-selling author, was the first commander of what came to be called SEAL Team 6, a counter-terrorist force founded in the wake of the 1980 failure to rescue Americans held hostage in Tehran. It's been 30 years that they've been practicing and doing counter-terrorism missions, so, you know, you really have a, a well-oiled machine that you're fielding when you send them out. Howard Wasden was a member of SEAL Team 6 in Somalia in 1993 shot three times in the infamous Black Hawk Down firefight. But then he'd been through the notoriously tough SEAL boot camp, which is about much more than just extreme fitness. Those classes routinely start with about 130 people and graduate 25. Those 25 that graduated have one thing, mental toughness, uh, above the uh, other guys who didn't make it. That was good enough to make a regular SEAL team. After several years of experience there, he volunteered for Team 6. 16 of us applied and two were accepted. It was snipers from SEAL Team 6 who picked off the Somali pirates holding an American ship captain hostage aboard a lifeboat. But SEAL Team 6 is not invincible. British aid worker Linda Norgrove was accidentally killed by them in a rescue mission gone wrong in Afghanistan. Every mission balances on a razor's edge between success and failure. But SEAL Team 6 goes into every one of them the same. Stone professionalism. Uh, controlling your emotions. The difference from being afraid and uh, being a warrior is controlling that fear and using it as a tool and accomplishing the mission. So Harry, the 40 minutes those SEALs spent on the ground at bin Laden's compound were 30 years in the making. David Martin at the Pentagon, thanks.